Sup, Chooms, how y'all living? Hope everything is Nova and you're all having a preem week. Okay, so we've got to talk about Cosma RNA here, Witchers. This treatment, it had a surge of hype last year and early this year due to its very unique mechanism of action in fighting hair loss, which showed promise as being both effective and safe. But the company behind it, it has run into some serious controversy recently that we have to go over today. I didn't want to have to do this video so soon because I wanted to give this product more time in the market so people could share their experiences with using it, but unfortunately there have been some severe mishaps in this product's marketing which have raised ethical questions about the company which manufactures and markets Cosma RNA called Bioneer, which is especially surprising since this company is based in Good Korea, which is where the best hair loss research in the world comes from. So a lot of you guys who have followed the subject of Cosma RNA probably know what I'm talking about already, but to give you a brief summary of what this is all about. The controversy in question is Bioneer posting what appears to be Photoshop before and after pictures on their website, which supposedly show how effective their product is. Now, even though I use Photoshop myself and I use a Photoshop type program to make my own thumbnails, I am not an expert on Photoshop at all. However, I was able to crop around the eye of the image and line up the before and after image. The after image is a little rotated and distorted compared to the before image, and it is a little blurry too, but as you can see here, it is clear they are both based on the exact same photo. Binary, you guys are officially busted here. There's no way these two images were taken months apart. So I don't know if the good Koreans use Photoshop or an artificial intelligence to generate these images, but they are obviously fake. So these before and after pictures are laughably bad and it is astonishing that someone in marketing fucked up so badly that they expected the public to be duped by these obviously photoshopped pictures. Apparently they did realize they screwed up though since the pictures have since been taken down but not before people could post about them and call them out on their bullshit. So this is pretty bad, it's very bad and it is indicative of a scam product. Frankly, I feel betrayed by all of this since I myself have made several videos where I have talked about Cosma RNA in an optimistic light. So the news of this scamful marketing tactic is especially unsettling to me because it makes my own content on Cosma RNA look bad, almost like I was responsible for helping promote a scam and indeed some of my viewers are upset with me now for my previous videos on Cosma RNA. However, does the shady marketing prove that Cosma RNA is a scam product and should we write it off completely at this point? Well, I'm not so sure we should go quite that far yet, Chooms. I know it sounds completely ridiculous that we should even entertain the idea of giving this company and its product another chance after their marketing team has so deliberately lied to us, but hear me out for a second and let me explain why I'm not quite ready to write Cosma RNA off completely as a legitimate therapy. So let me recap exactly what Cosma RNA is and how it is supposed to work to stop hair loss. Well. Cosma RNA is what's called a SAMI RNA, and I've done a video specifically on this technology, as well as my previous videos on Cosma RNA, and I'll link both of those videos down below in case you haven't seen them yet. But just to go over briefly how Cosma RNA and SAMI RNA drugs are supposed to work, they are based on a form of RNA called small interfering RNA, also known as siRNA. This siRNA is a short fragment of RNA that is matched to a specific RNA in the cell, and it prevents that specific RNA from functioning. In the case of Cosma RNA, the siRNA is designed to interfere with the RNA that synthesizes the androgen receptor protein. This siRNA is quite fragile, so it is wrapped in a lipid nanoparticle. Inside the cell, the siRNA is released and interferes with the cell's own RNA and thus inhibits protein synthesis, which in this case is the synthesis of the androgen receptor. The androgen receptor in the hair follicles is of course the target of the trash hormone DHT, which we all know is the hormone responsible for androgenic alopecia. So if you reduce the number of androgen receptors, the DHT will have less of an effect on stimulating those receptors and therefore have less of an effect on destroying our hair follicles. So unlike finasteride and dutasteride, which are 5AR blockers and are very effective at reducing the amount of DHT in the hair follicles, Cosma RNA reduces the target of DHT, thus lowering the effect of DHT rather than lowering DHT directly the way 5 5AR inhibitors do. Since 5AR blockers and SAMI RNA drugs work by different mechanisms, that means that theoretically they should both be effective either by themselves or when stacked together. 
Of course, the downside of any drug that affects androgen receptors is the possibility that the drug could go systemic and knock out androgen receptors elsewhere in the body, like in our gonads, for instance, which would give us hair, but make the rest of us look like Jason Blaha. Because of this big safety issue, I was a little surprised that Bioneer decided not to submit Cosma RNA to the FDA or any European regulatory agencies as a drug. Instead, what they did is they registered it as a cosmetic product, which is a bit of a loophole that is sometimes used to get a cosmetic drug on the market. Stamoxidine is another example of a hair loss treatment that was put on the market through this loophole. The reason why companies do this is because drugs have to undergo rigorous safety testing and it's necessary to do randomized control studies with hundreds or sometimes thousands of subjects in order to get a drug approved. But since Cosma RNA is a topical product, apparently it was able to claim that it is not a drug, but rather it is just a cosmetic product, kind of like a hair loss equivalent to various skincare products that we can buy over the counter. According to the Bioneer website, the research that got Cosma RNA approved as a cosmetic product was all based on testing only 45 people from Good Korea and 120 people from Europe, though the European study with 120 people was never published. The data from the 45 subjects from Good Korea was published last year in this article here. At the time, Cosma RNA was called AR68. As you can see here, AR68 interfered with the synthesis of the androgen receptor in vitro and also seemed to give good clinical results. I like science here, Chooms, but I'm not sure the Bioneer company is building up a lot of confidence in their product. First, they decide to bypass the whole drug approval process, but then they got busted for photoshopping before and after pictures. So why should anyone even consider Cosma RNA as a viable hair loss treatment after the company behind it so egregiously misled us all. Well, I fully believe that it is possible for a company to make a good product that is marketed poorly, and that could very well be the case we're looking at here, Chums. Cosma RNA could be a good product that is just the victim of an extremely incompetent marketing team, and we shouldn't give up on the product quite yet. Under the current circumstances, though, here's what I think needs to happen if Bioneer is ever going to regain the trust of the hair loss community ever again. I think Bioneer owes us both an apology as well as an explanation for all of this. It isn't good enough for them to just delete the photos and try to sweep this controversy under the rug. We all know what they did, and we're not going to just forget about this without an explanation. On top of that, we also need some additional research that can be independently verified before we can consider Cosma RNA a legitimate treatment. I do think the science behind the Cosma RNA technology indicates that it is potentially a very useful product, and I really want it to be because the hair loss community deserves more viable options. If Bioneer has any confidence in their product's safety and efficacy, then at the very least they should have no trouble subjecting it to a larger peer-reviewed randomized control study. I'm not asking them to go through the whole FDA approval process, but they can at the very least do a little better than what they've done so far. The mechanistic data is of course very interesting, but we need more outcome data if we're going to have any faith in this novel therapy. Apparently, Bioneer has done research in Europe, but this study has not been published in a peer-reviewed journal yet. They need to publish this as soon as possible, as well as any other data they have on Cosma RNA. So I am sincerely hoping that Bioneer watches this video and takes into heart my suggestions, because I want to like and I want to promote this product, but they have betrayed the trust of the hair loss community, and they have betrayed my trust as well. I'll keep my eye on this one still, of course, my fellow hair loss switchers, but until Bioneer apologizes to us and promises more research in the near future, then at the moment, I'm afraid to say that Cosma RNA is a product that can't be trusted. I hope that can change soon, but for now, I can't in good faith recommend it. So maybe Bioneer will watch my video and then laugh it off thinking that someone like me who only has 34,000 subscribers won't have much of an influence, so maybe they don't give a shit about my criticism, but that's just the case today. If you guys at Bioneer keep refusing to address this controversy, then tomorrow it could be a much bigger channel who calls you out. So if anyone from Bioneer is watching this, I'd advise you all to take action very, very soon. So until next time, my fellow hair loss switchers, God bless. Thank you for watching.